Today we'll be looking at the Huckel's rule of aromaticity. Huckel's rule of aromaticity. Remember, Huckel's rule is one of the conditions a compound must satisfy before it can be called an aromatic compound. Now, what is Huckel's rule talking about? Huckel's rule states that for a compound to be aromatic, the total number of pi electrons present in that compound must be equal to 4n plus 2. That is what Huckel's rule states. In mathematical form, it states that number of pi electrons number of pi electrons in the compound must be equal to 4n plus 2 where n is a positive whole number n must be a positive whole number now let's see how to make use of this formula remember who can through states that for a compound to be aromatic the total number of pi electrons present in the compound must be equal to 4n plus 2 where n is a positive whole number so how do you go about this formula very simple what it means that for you to check whether a compound obeys Huckel's rule find the number of pi electrons present in that compound assuming you find it keep it make it equal to this formula then make n subject of the formula you have known the number of pi electrons present in the compound given to you Make that number of pi electrons to be equal to this formula. Then make n subject of formula and find the value of n. If you find n and n is a positive whole number, not a decimal, a decimal number, simply means that the compound is aromatic. But if you find your n value and n is a decimal number, then the compound is not aromatic. That means for the compound to be aromatic, your n must be a positive whole number. Let's take, for example, benzene here. Looking at benzene, let's check if benzene is aromatic. Remember, the four conditions must be obeyed before we can call benzene an aromatic compound. And what are the conditions? Condition number one says the compound must be cyclic. Remember, I have listed the conditions for aromaticity in the previous video. If you did not watch it, you can go back, you see the subtitle, Conditions for Aromaticity. Now, the first condition says the compound must be, must be cyclic. As you can see, benzene is cyclic. It is a cyclic compound, so it has passed the first condition. Condition number two says the compound must be completely conjugated, which means it must have sp2 hybridized carbon all over now as you can see there are two ways of knowing completely conjugated compounds it must have double bonds in alternating positions if i'm moving in clockwise direction like this if i start here i have double bond here single bond here double bond single bond double bond single bond that means this compound is completely conjugated all the carbon atoms present are sp2 hybridized so benzene has also passed the second condition. The third condition says the compound must be planar, that is flat. We all know benzene is planar in shape. But at this level, I am not going to go deep into explaining what it means to be planar, how to look at a compound and determine if it is planar or not. At the level we are operating, we are not going to go into that. So we are going to skip that condition because we are using mostly planar compounds at this level. Now, the last condition says that the compound must obey Huckel's rule of aromaticity. And what is Huckel's rule saying? Huckel's rule states that for a compound to be aromatic, the total number of pi electrons present must be equal to 4n plus 2, where n is a positive whole number. So let's do Huckel's rule here. Now, we are going to find the number of pi electrons here. Remember, each double bond here carries two pi electrons. 
So if you want to know the number of bi-electrons present in, in this case, count the total number of double bonds you have, then multiply by two. It's one of the double bonds has two bi-electrons. So how many do I have? I have one, two, three. I have three double bonds, which means the number of bi-electrons here will be three times two. That is six. So my number of bi-electrons is equal to six. Make it to be equal to the Hooker formula for n plus two. Remember, Hooker says that the number of bi-electrons must be equal to 4n plus 2, which I have done. So the next thing we have to do now is to find the value of n. If I find the value of n and it is a whole number, a positive whole number, then the compound is aromatic. But if it is a decimal number, the compound is not aromatic. Compound is aromatic when n is 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 and so on. So here, let's find n. I can say that 4n plus 2 is equal to 6. Therefore, my 4n will be equal to 6 plus 2 going over becomes minus 2. Simply means that 4n is equal to 4. Then my n will be 4 divided by 4, which is 1. Now that my n is 1, as you know, 1 is a positive whole number. Because I have gotten my n and it is a positive whole number, it means that benzene has satisfied the four conditions for aromaticity. So benzene is aromatic. Now looking at the second one, here the compound is cyclic. The compound is completely conjugated as you can see. We can start, we can decide to start here. Single, double, single, double, single, double, single, double, single, double, single. So it is completely conjugated. As I told you, we have to skip the planar condition at this stage because I know it is planar. Now the next condition is the Huckel's rule. Let's check if it obeys Huckel's rule of aromaticity. Now, the first thing we have to do is to find the number of pi electrons here. How many double bonds are here? One, two, three, four, five. There are five pi bonds. These are the pi bonds. Now, the pi electrons will be two times the number of pi bonds. Since I have five pi bonds, my pi electrons will be two times five, which is ten. So according to who cares? 10 will be equal to 4n plus 2. I can say that 4n plus 2 is 10. My 4n is 10 minus 2. So my 4n gives me 8. And n will be 8 divided by 4. And that is what? 2. Now, my n is a positive whole number. It also qualifies this compound to be aromatic. The last example we are going to look at here is this one, the cyclooctatetraene. 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 But before cyclooctatetraene, before this, let's take a look at this one. If it is aromatic, if I have this. And I am being asked to determine if this is aromatic. As you can see, it will obey who comes through. Because the number of pi bonds here is 3. And 3 times 2 is 6. So if I say 6 is equal to 4n plus 2, if I solve this, I will still have my n to be 1. Just like in benzene. It is also completely conjugated. Double bond, single, double, single, double. But it doesn't mean that it is aromatic. That you qualify one of the rules or two of them doesn't make you aromatic. For you to be aromatic, you must satisfy the four conditions. And as you can see, this compound is not cyclic because it is open. And being cyclic is one of the conditions. So because it is not cyclic, it is not aromatic. So the last one I would like you to try on your own is cyclooctatetraene. I want you to tell me or from your calculation check if this compound will satisfy the condition for aromaticity that is cyclooctatetraene
check if this compound is aromatic. Do your solving into the comments. You will see the comment section. Scroll down, down, down the video, down, down, down. You see where to comment. Drop your solvents. Show us if it is aromatic or not. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like my page, share with your friends, invite them to learn with us here. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.